So, anyway, right. I just came from getting a haircut. Same place I always go. Because, like I said, I ain't got time to be trying to evade. It. Because the gang stalkers are everywhere. The perps. Uh, and firstly, you really just can't evade them. All you can do is, like, plan to go to the barbershop that I always go to and just randomly make a left and just... And since I live in the city, yeah, I can just literally could just find a random place. But they got, you know, in the early days, what I mean, the early days, like right after September 11th, it was times because, like I said, I didn't know what's going on. It was times that I actually lost them. And, I, and that's what really let me know something like, why is this stranger? You know, I'm speeding up in a neighborhood, a different city, but a neighborhood I know like the back of my hand. So I, I smashed the gas, right? And, you know, they speed up too. Like, what, what, what? You know, and I'm like, well, shit, they ain't no reason nobody got a hit out on me. It would be something random. And the car wasn't nice enough for a random carjacking. You know, it literally was a, a bucket, right? So uh, it's like, why, what the fuck? But this was, you know, so anyway, like, th th this is uh, first time I'm saying this, I guess, on one of my videos. Um, I know for a fact that uh, after the I don't you know I'm still you know on the fence of September the world because it's so many theories like they knew about it right because they said oh you had to have known about it beforehand and you just didn't listen to the intel or it was an inside job period you know like uh to scare people the public and Congress into putting more money because. Well, you see this program, and I can attest for a fact, this program really took off. Um, after September 11th, it got more civilians involved, more uh, low-level perps, just money to throw around. You know, even, like I say, even though they're not getting paid that much, think about it. I'm just one target. So even if they're only giving the bums, you know, $5 or whatever, or a gift certificate to 7-Eleven. Some cities don't even have a 7-Eleven. My old city don't have a 7-Eleven. But Quickie Marts and all this. And they, because somebody else had pointed out another target. Because he was making fun of them. Like, like nigga, all you got was a, a sandwich. Not even a hot sandwich from Burger King or McDonald's. So you got one of those put in the microwave sandwiches. You know, some of us, you know, plenty of us, we'll, we'll do it at lunchtime if you're on a job because you don't give a fuck. You just need some energy. You know, you might be working 12 hours or eight hours. Yeah, you just, you don't give a fuck. You paid a little dollar fifty. You know it's expensive. <laughs> That's when you start thinking, I should I should have just bought me some lunch meat. You know, it would have been way cheaper and better. You know, or bring some leftovers. But anyway, you... So you paid a little two dollars out the machine for the for the warm up nuke nuke shit in the break room, but y'all y'all not doing a real job. You still standing out. You're still homeless. You're still a bum. That's why I'm dogging you. I'm not dogging you because you're homeless. We all you know make mistakes. Shit happens. Life happens. But when you're doing shit like this, like I, said, I say it all the time, I can't reiterate. Reiterate. I can't stress enough this point. When you're doing a crime. Working with criminals, then on top of it, you got access to criminals that have access to the government. That type of, them type of criminals. You know, you got, you have to have proof that can send all types of people away. And you still homeless. Or you still living here. What the, I mean, I don't, I don't care. They are, they are already threatening your life. Has to be. They already have to be threatening your life because you're still homeless. And I'm serious. I'm Y'all think, oh, well, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about movies. I listen to too much. Uh, music, rap music, out twice. No, I'm telling you from experience, nigga. If you in this type of situation and you either still broke, nigga, you ain't got no choice but to die. Seriously, I'm not trying to advocate suicide. It's like you ain't got no choice, nigga. Ain't no way in hell. I'm still gonna be living in this type of bullshit. I'm still homeless on the fucking street. And this motherfucker, you know, and, and this, see, this the type of shit they feeding y'all, like, about us. Like, we, we, but we didn't do it. We didn't steal from you. We not committing crimes. You're in a criminal organization. That's what I'm saying. Look at them. Your boss is a fucking criminal. Big time criminal. <laughs> I don't know about gangster all that, but he's a fucking criminal, white collar, or whatever the fuck. 
whatever the fuck he is a or she. And y'all are still working your ragged ass fucking jobs. You still what the I I I don't get it. I don't get the that's why I say it has to be cult. A cult. It's a cult. It's like uh Jim Jones and Botswana or whatever I know they was on. Y'all might also just cause that means y'all y'all do whatever they say. It has nothing to do with money. You're not in the crime committing these uh, tri- atrocious crimes for the money. That's not your motivation. It's it's the leader. It's the it's the group. It's your cult. That's what it's for. That means you don't care about being homeless. You don't care. It's finna turn one a time. It's finna be thirty degrees. You still outside. Below is it's two degrees. It doesn't matter. Oh well, but thirty degrees ain't that. It's you still you you still can catch hypothermia. Or thermia. It don't have to be thirty degrees. That's how devoted to this fucking cult y'all are. Crazy, and it went. The summer just passed. We had the, what this heat wave, hundred degree weather. You you still outside, nowhere to go. But you you devoted the following people to targets around and, and for nothing. I I don't get it. No shower, no no nowhere to go, and nowhere to lay your head, call your own. That is straight up cultism. Yeah, I'm trying to get y'all to revolt against the fucking cult because th- this is fucking crazy. It makes no sense. Like I said, it's frightening to uh, my other citizens. It should be when they find out what was going on. When they finally do find out about this bullshit, they're gonna be like, "Damn, this month, yes, that's how crazy they were." And 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 you normally you would think, I would think the the archetype or the the just the the type of person in a cult. They won't have personal feelings, but I take that back. It's not personal against me that they're upset. Oh, you had this, you have that, this and that. That's what their cult is about. That's what the, it's, it's the hate. That's the cult. They're, like I said, they pick people that, you know, as they just did the research, the, the, the average cult member, someone who was, who was, had a lot of trauma or someone who's vulnerable. So yeah, it's not. I think maybe if it weren't for the cult, the majority of people would I see with the frowns on their face and you know look like they're they're like this crazy lady that just drove by, you know, uh if you rewind the tape or whenever when I post it, whatever, just look at the grave, just slow it down. It's some crazy lady. It was another blonde haired chick looked like her in the store I just came from. So I don't know what that means. And the person in that truck they pulled up when I pulled up is another blonde haired white lady. There's three, I don't know what the fuck that means. But it's something to do with this crazy cult. Something to do. There's there's three in the last. I don't know why she just drove by. Uh, one, two, and the store I was just in. I got videos at that store. Same one. Like I said, I go to the same places. Why? Because so I can. I need to catch them in their natural habitat. You know. Maybe I should try to. But I'm gonna have to record when I go to a random store. See, there she go, crazy <laughs> spoke her up, speak of the devil, literally. But uh, not the, the old, uh, you know, uh, white devil shit. No, I'm talking about cult member. All of the all in the the ones the, the my neighbors, so-called neighbors, the black, white, whatever. There was matter of fact, cause there's, there's all of all races. This has nothing to do with that. It's uh, division. Control, control all of us. We all gonna be fucked out, of, and that, that's what I'm trying to figure out. What did they offer her? The one that just drove by, the one in the store, uh, the people that come out all the time, and whenever else I'm making videos. What did they offer them? You know, the, is, is it like what we used to laugh about with the in the early after September 11th? You know, the Muslims they were present, uh, promise uh, in the Quran. You know, 77 versions are they? What do they promise that gets them to do this? Maybe they're promised something here on earth, you know, maybe they're promised after the takeover, if the, that it's not going to happen, but they're, they're determined. They're into this. They're diligent. They're, they're on time. They be on time. You know, they're on time. What are they promised? Uh, is they, some people are talking about the no borders. It's just big old continents. You go where you want to go there. Maybe they figure there's, you know, there's no United States like they said. The, the the globalism. We all thought it was just. Well, I never did, but you just didn't think it was going to happen. You no, know, you, you know, something like that. The, uh, Orson Welles and 
the book 1984, you know, it's, it's, it's looking back. It's like, oh, they, you know, all this stuff you learn for a reason. Like, they all swear y'all, you know, just, it's just crazy. All this stuff is, is really coming into play. All this stuff that you, you know, you thought was just jokes and, and, and fucking movies. There were comedy movies back in the day that had old books, old fashioned books. It's like, what are they offering these people? Maybe they're offering them nothing. Maybe they just uh, what I you know what I always think of a movie, one dude in the movie that made me mad that 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 comes to mind. What was that one with uh, uh, one that Claire Reese she played in the movie too? Uh, it was us uh, about contact again, alien contact. The point is, it has nothing to do with uh, aliens. I'm talking about the fanatic by the by the middle of the movie. He blew up the, uh, you know, he walked in with a strapped on bomb as a white dude, blonde hair. It's a Jody Foster movie, I think. But uh, point is, this is where I, it reminds me of these people. They're fanatics who, it, it, they might not even be the money. It, they really don't, you know, they don't. Remember the dude, he blew it up because he didn't want them finding out what the aliens had to offer or whatever the fuck. You got to watch it again for yourself or whatever. Oh, um, just the point is, is like they don't, you know, they, or either they want to, or one of those other movies that you're just like, you're always talking about movies. I'm just saying the writers, they have to draw from somewhere. What do you think? They just that imaginative? No, they draw from real life. Who knows what the fuck they're into? Just because they're millionaire Hollywood writers, you don't know how weird these motherfuckers are. You don't know where they get their inspiration from. They're not, then this shit is not just, they, oh, I just thought it up in a dream. I just imagined it. I just, I'm just so talented. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> these motherfuckers, they, they, they ain't writing all this shit out of the blue. The motherfuckers ain't that goddamn talented. Shit. <laughs> it's like, nah, they know they're fucking weirdos and cults out there. We think that, you know, we thought, we love to sleep thinking, oh, there ain't no weird motherfuckers out there like that who want to destroy everything for whatever reason. Might not even be because they were picked on and, and, and made fun of and want everybody to suffer like they did when they was in middle school and high school. They might just believe, oh, it's now it's the end time, just like prophecy says. And we have to usher in the new world, you know, just crazy motherfuckers. This is not a movie plot. Think about it. This, this is motherfuckers. The motherfuckers ain't that goddamn talented. The goddamn right shit like that. I just don't, you know, I was just, uh, I had writer's block and uh, I went to my cabin and I sat in there for a couple of months by myself and I just dreamed up this whole movie and that's now it's a blockbuster. No, bitch, these motherfuckers be into some dirty ass shit. <laughs> they might be cult members, them goddamn selves. You know, we watch it. I'm not even saying, you know, don't watch the movie uh, because you, no, nah, you can watch it. You know the difference between real life and we're not stupid. You know the fucking difference. You ain't fit it. What I'm saying is, but if they're in that them type of cults, they have they have a disconnect from regular people where they think you know, and and also the money and the, the connections and power that they have. It's just it's just so. I wouldn't even think of all this if it wasn't for the fact I see it every fucking day. Like I said, weirdos just showing up at the same time. Shit. Only thing I can say is, thankfully they they. <laughs> oh, fucking cowards they, Imagine if these motherfuckers Wasn't cowards I mean this, I wouldn't even be talking right now <laughs> Shit I would either had to go out You know <laughs> Shit Or either just You know Take it <laughs> I would have had two choices <laughs> Shit And that's That's some real shit Nigga That's that's. If you ain't You ain't never been in it You don't know what I'm talking about But anyway Like I said That's all for now